This is something that Democrats need to get their arms around. Sending a message uh, to poor, underdeveloped countries uh, and to people there who are struggling for a better life, that you, if you risk your life, if you risk your children's life, if you risk your family's life, you just may get into the United States. There's nothing progressive about that message. There, there's nothing humanitarian about that message. We've got to do a better job along the border. That's MSNBC's Joe Scarborough with a sobering warning to Democrats after scores of migrants were found dead in the back of an overheated tractor trailer outside San Antonio. It comes as Democrats offered a new spending bill in Congress focused on the border. Zero dollars for a wall, but money for more enforcement along the border. Robert Sherman's looking into what exactly that would mean for agents who are often outnumbered 101 by illegal immigrants. Hi, Robert. Hey there, Leland. And you talk to any official down here on the border, they all say the same thing. Their number one need is manpower, boots on the ground to patrol and secure the border. This new budget, it will provide some more manpower, over 2,000 people, uh, but the far majority of them are behind the scenes. Technicians, support staffers, processors. When you're talking about actually apprehending migrants and securing the border, that would fall under the purview of Border Patrol agents. This new budget will allow for about 300 more of those and that's a step in the right direction but in the grand scheme of things when you're looking at a border that's 1950 miles in length that really comes out to about one agent every 26 miles considering that every single one of these agents works in shifts so there's still more of a way to go there's also a key cutback that you have to note here as well from the budget detention facilities is seeing cutbacks which will effectively bring the capacity of these migrant detention facilities down from 34,000 to 25,000 now, there is money in the budget for those migrants when they are released to have ankle bracelets that will force them to check in with ICE agents. But if they run out of those ankle bracelets and those GPS monitors, then they will be given some form of parole, which effectively means that their duty to check in with ICE agents and be monitored, that really only comes down to one thing, and that's effectively their word. Leland? Yeah, we've seen so many thousands released on just exactly that. There were, for, for whatever it's worth, the White House, Queen Jean-Pierre, saying today that, uh, quote, unquote, the border is closed. Evidently, down on the border, they haven't gotten that memo based on your reporting. Robert, thank you uh, very much. Speaking of the... Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.